you place triangle roofs on a triangle foundation or floor, then place a sofa like this. You will be able to sit on the couch and shoot through the wall while only poking a tiny portion of your head on the enemy's screen. If the enemy attempts to shoot at you, you can always switch seats and be completely invisible and invincible to them while still being able to see them. This is more of an exploit, so don't be surprised if it gets patched very soon. Countering the cargo ship can be pretty challenging, especially when you have people watching all four entry points. But most people forget that they can place ladders on the cargo ship to be able to catch the defenders off guard from where they don't expect you. Well, sometimes at least. Now let's say you went deep on somebody, they closed the front door and you are now unable to make your way back out. It's easy, you can kill yourself with your back facing the wall and looking all the way up. Doing so will make your ragdoll poke out and be lootable through the wall more often than not. Note that this will work 100% of the time if your respawn is within render distance of where you died. If it isn't, the game will be forced to re-render the ragdoll in a different position so you might not be able to loot yourself. It is also very efficient to use it with a friend. Hey guys, have you been winning big at the Bandit Camp's roulette and slot machines but now want to win something more than just scrap? If you're 18 years or older, go check out today's sponsor, Gamdom, where you can play dozens of games including roulette, crash, sports betting, slots and a bunch more. But remember to enter our affiliate code WayZ or use the link in the description to get 15% rake back for a whole week, which is huge. Gamdom also offers a wide variety of deposit and withdrawal methods. So good luck and gamble responsibly. If you try to raid a base with outer TCs and want to make sure building privilege does not overlap, soft siding the external cupboards foundations will stop the privilege from extending throughout the length foundations. On the other hand, if you are the base owner and want to deter people from using the previous tip, an easy way to do it is to build extra structures on top of the foundations, like wall frames and floor frames. These are cheap to make and upkeep and cannot be soft sided. As a base owner willing to protect his base, you must understand that some of your threats might be airborne. The MLRS and its rockets can absolutely decimate stone and wooden bases, do significant damage to other materials, open up your compound and destroy turrets and every other deployable. In short, it weakens the base substantially before a raid attempt. The only counter to this formidable piece of artillery are anti-air batteries, aka the SAM sites. Having three of them as high as possible intercepts the rockets 100% of the time. Having any of them lower increases the risk of letting one or a few rockets through. Auto turrets are pretty powerful, but can be spotted quite easily and destroyed from afar. But what if I told you that there is a way to make your auto turret not only invisible, but extra protected? All you need to do is place some huge wooden signs like such, covering the door or double door your turret is behind. And as you can see, you can walk through the back side of the sign, but not the other way around, which allows the auto turret to see and shoot freely through the sign while the enemy is unable to see it or destroy it unless they destroy the sign first. The NPC quests can be pretty lucrative early on, especially the lumberjack that can earn you a metal hatchet and a crossbow, or the hunter that rewards you with a couple hundred scrap for killing a few animals. After the latest combat update, the only thing you need to be good with the AK is a laser sight, crouch and hip fire. It is very accurate, the recoil isn't as bad, and can kill people farther than 50 meters. 
Try it for yourself to see how overpowered it is. A few newer players may not know this yet, but using a paddle inside safe zones doesn't render you hostile. It is perfect to farm barrels and kill animals within the safety of said places. Thanks for watching.